that is a sign that I need to change my planer plates. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your planer blades so you don't have this burning problem. The planer I have is the DeWalt 735X. I love the planer. I someday hope to upgrade to the Shelix head, but for now I just have the straight knives and they're fairly cheap. Plus, what I love about them is the knives are reversible. So in that case, we're just gonna reverse these knives right now and keep going. If I remember if I reversed them last time, I don't know, we'll figure that out. Let's get started. Right here is where the tool is. They leave you with the tool, beautiful place, and those are magnets. You'll see why later. So start by just unscrewing these four screws here. Like I said, the DeWalt 735, I thought there was an X on it. Stay tuned for that. Future Austin here using the Google machine. The difference between the 735X and the 735 is just in-feed and out-feed tables and an extra set of blades. Once you have all four loosened, you just lift it right off. Don't lose the screws. Now that you're inside, you'll see these three thumb screws basically. You'll take each one of those off. That helps you remove the blower cover. Wiggle it back and forth till that comes off and don't lose that. Which I don't know why you would lose it. This is the point in which you need to make sure that you are unplugged. Double check, double check, and double check. Unplugged. That center part is where the knives are. And you need to, at this point, be very careful that you don't touch them with your hands in the wrong way. Okay, this row of screws are what needs to come out next. And again, use your tool for that. Next, once all the screws are removed, again, the tool, those two magnets are used to pick this up and remove it so that you're not getting your fingers in where the blade is. The cool thing that DeWalt has added to their planers, or this one at least, is these reference points. That shows right there as well, and what that does is help you line up the planer blades perfectly without having to calibrate them. Now, this reveals the actual blade. Again, use your tool to just pull it out. You can probably see right there it's definitely got some muck on it. In some cases, maybe it could be cleaned, but it's probably pretty dull. So this is definitely the used side. Now the other side, I can see that it's factory edge. So in this case, I have not used the other side yet, and I will just flip them around and then install them again. So knowing that, this is the edge that I want to put back down add it to my tool, and install it. Now, you can see that there's some play. If I move that back and forth, again, for future Austin here. To, to save you from a long rambling session, here we go. This is a board run through the planer with a lot of nicks and dents in the blades. You can clearly see the lines on the board, and that's not awesome. So what DeWalt has done allows you to move one of the blades to one side in order to hide those nicks. So by moving one blade over or two blades over, you're able to offset those nicks and eliminate those lines in your boards. Obviously, there's still a big nick in the blade, so eventually you're going to want to change your blades anyway. But this is a good way to just fix it temporarily, especially if you just changed your blades and they're still sharp. Back to you, old Austin. There we go, that's one side. Two more sides to go. I'll just time lapse those and they'll be the same. Again, use those tools, be safe, and that's pretty much it.
I lost a screw. Pro tip, never put your hand under this thing while it's plugged in. Now let's put it all back together, including this thing. Does have written on there open and close. There's two lines and an arrow here. There we go. Just like that. The lines should line up with close because you're not opening the thing. So line it up with the arrow close. Use these things and screw them back in. Add the top back. Keep in mind there's a way that it should go though. Wow, what a difference that makes. This is planed on both sides. Very, very smooth to the touch. The biggest difference I noticed, other than obviously not burning the wood, is does this go through the planer by itself? Um, it took me a long time to figure out that that is the key to, okay, ding, 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 I need to change the planer blades. If it's not going through by itself, then you're cutting with dull knives. Change them right away, as soon as you can. I'm sure there are thousands of other planer blade changer video things. If this is the one you watched, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the content, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, something I did wrong, please drop a comment below, let me know. If you want to just say great job, I'm okay with that too. I hope this video helped you in some way. And as always, thanks for watching. High quality cover.